Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at the unsolved murder of talented Australian sportsperson Colin Ridgway in Dallas, Texas, with Ridgway the first Australian to play in the NFL. Born on the 19th of February 1937 in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, and one of two children with a sister Wanda, Ridgway participated at the age of 19 at the 1956 Olympic Games as a high jumper in his native Melbourne as the youngest high jumper where he would place seventh. He also participated at the 1958 British Empire and Commonwealth Games held in Cardiff, Wales. Additionally, Ridgway competed in the Australian Athletics Championships between 1955 and 1956 at the Olympic Park in Melbourne and the Brisbane Cricket Ground in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Again, he participated in the championships from 1956 to 1957 at the Olympic Park, 1957 to 1958 at the Exhibition Grounds in Brisbane, and the Sydney Sports Ground in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, as well as at the 1958 to 1959 championships held at the North Hobart Oval held in Hobart, Tasmania, Australia, as well as from 1959 to 1960 at the Lerdeville Oval in Perth, Western Australia, and the North Hobart Oval. In the 1960s, Ridgway played AFL, playing for the Carlton Football Club. In 1960, Ridgway failed to make the Australian Olympics team as a high jumper at the 1960 Summer Olympics, which were to be held in Rome, Italy. As a result, Ridgway accepted a track and field scholarship to Lamar Tech, which is now Lamar University in Beaumont, Texas, and would never return to live in Australia. In 1961, he became the first Commonwealth athlete to clear seven feet in high jump. Having never played in an NFL game, Ridgway was discovered by the Dallas Cowboys and was signed as an undrafted free agent to the 1965 team. Playing during the preseason, Ridgway played a key role, beating the Green Bay Packers 21-12. Despite starting on the taxi squad and being promoted to the regular roster on the 3rd of November 1965 as a punter, Ridgway's career in the NFL was short-lived, as his running drop kicks used in AFL did not transition into the NFL. After playing three games as a punter, Ridgway was waived on the 24th of August 1966, and at the request of the Cowboys, Ridgway accepted to play with the Savannah, Georgia team of the North American Football League. However, he would never return to play with the NFL. However, Despite his short-lived and lacklustre career, Ridgway was immortalised in NFL history as the first Australian player to play in the NFL. After playing with the Savannah, Georgia team, he returned to Dallas to become a businessman, opening up numerous travel agents and in 1973 met Joan Jackson. The pair married in 1977. The marriage was fraught with problems, with Jackson spreading rumours amongst Ridgway's friends that he beat her constantly, and that he was a terrible businessman, and was even a drugs dealer, smuggling drugs from Mexico. On the 13th of May 1993, at 10.30pm, Ridgway returned to his home in University Park in a separate car from his wife, with Jackson returning to the back of the house. Police believe that Ridgway made it to the top of the stairs and was shot seven times in his house. Ridgway's family in his native Australia was distraught by his unexpected murder, with his sister Wanda having married Kevin Dixon, who was completely broken by the tragedy. Both were in their 70s at the time of Ridgway's death and moved to a remote part of Northern Australia in order to be near a hospital. Kevin Dixon became a chain smoker due to his brother-in-law's death and spent six months in a psychiatric hospital before discovering that he had cancer. 
Despite friends believing that Jackson was involved in Ridgway's murder with a life insurance of $575,000 on Ridgway taken out a few months before his murder and Ridgway threatening to divorce her, police initially did not consider Jackson a suspect. Indeed, Jackson never wrote to or contacted Ridgway's sister, with Wanda only finding out about her brother's death through a friend who stumbled across the news in a local newspaper. In September 1996, Kenneth Bicking III was arrested with police in Dallas believing that Jackson had hired Bicking, having been introduced to him by his own father and paid him $5,000 to commit the murder of her husband in order to collect his $575,000 life insurance policy. Bicking's ex-wife, Catherine, also informed police that he had committed a murder. However, a judge threw out the case, with Bicking claiming that Catherine accused him of a crime in order to gain custody of their children and was set free in February 1997. On the 4th of September 2014, Bicking was once again arrested for murder and suspicion of a sexual battery and kidnapping of Atlantic Beach woman Gwen Berlin in 1992. Bicking broke into her house, tied Berlin up, put duct tape over her eyes and mouth and sexually assaulted her. It was only in 2011 that DNA swabs were found from the original crime scene with the kidnapping of Berlin reinvestigated, with a link to Bicking found. It is also believed that he murdered a South Florida cocaine kingpin whose name was never released. In the same year, DNA was found at Ridgeway's house, an untested hair which was retested against Bicking, but no match was found. Bicking was sentenced to two life sentences on the 9th of October 2014 in Jacksonville, Florida for the kidnapping and sexual battery of Berlin. However, Ridgeway's case remains unsolved and is considered cold the only unsolved case in University Park. If you have any information on the murder of Colin Ridgeway, please contact the University Park City Police on plus one two one four three six three three thousand. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.